Hi, my name is Jay Sapi and you are watching Kalakar Makerspace videos. Welcome to the first video of our drone series. This video series was possible only because of Robotics Arena team. A huge thanks to them and I have included all the details in the description so please do check them out. In this video series there are totally 8 episodes and all have been added to a playlist which you can see in the description. Please check that out so that you don't miss any. Also consider contributing on Patreon so that we can keep making such videos. We will be learning the basic terminologies of drone, what is a UAV, types of UAV, how a drone flies etc. Nope, not the UFO, we are talking about UAV. In the recent years drones have got a lot of popularity. Also India recently got its drone operation guidelines given by the DGCA which we will be going in detail in the future episodes. So what is UAV or unmanned aerial vehicle? According to the dictionary, a UAV is defined as a powered aerial vehicle that does not carry a human operator, uses aerodynamic forces to provide vehicle lift, can fly autonomously or be piloted remotely, can be expendable or recoverable and can carry a lethal or a non-lethal payload. In simple terms, unmanned aerial vehicle is something that flies and can be controlled. Drone, it is synonymous with UAV and is more commonly used. Now that we know what a UAV is, let's go ahead and see the types of UAVs. There are three main types, multi-rotor, fixed wing and hybrid. Multi-rotors, they have multiple rotors attached to them, obviously. Coaxial, rotors on single axis. Tricopters, three rotors in a Y formation. Quadcopters, four rotors which is the most commonly used ones. The DJ Phantom or the Mavic series that you most commonly see are all quadcopters. In fact, in this video series, we will be making a quadcopter. Then there is a hexacopter, 6 rotors. The Matrix 600 is a good example also from DJI. Octocopter, 8 rotors and so on. Quadcopter is a variant of multi-rotor that can be lifted and propelled using 4 motors and 4 propellers. It consists of propellers connected to a motor which are driven with the help of an ESC. ESC is electronic speed controller. Then the flight controller controls the speed of the motor. This is to maintain the stability and also to maneuver. The flight control consists of various sensors like accelerometer, gyroscope, barometer, and a compass or a magnetometer which is helpful in taking the flight. The flight controller is connected to the receiver which receives information from the transmitter. A transmitter is usually a remote control that you will have here on the ground. All these things are powered with the help of a battery that will be mounted to the frame and that is usually the most heaviest component. How do drones fly? The first thing that the drone has to do is get off the ground. To do this, it must use all four of its motors and propellers to generate the force upward greater than its weight. The motor rotates the propellers at a high speed to generate lift which in turn makes the drone to fly. Quadcopters makes use of four motors and four propellers. Two of them spin in the clockwise while the other in the counterclockwise direction. Motors on the same axis spin in the same direction as illustrated here. You must be puzzled why there are two sets of propellers. Why not attach all the propellers in the same direction? The reason is Newton's third law. If we attach all the propellers in the same direction, the drone will start to rotate in the opposite direction. This is because of the force exerted by the rotors on the drone frame. That is, if you attach the propeller in the clockwise direction, then the drone will start rotating in the anti-clockwise direction. Now let's see the four basic movements of quadcopters. Altitude change. A quadcopter can either hover or adjust its altitude. This is done by applying equal thrust to all four rotors. To hover at a point, all four motors must generate equal amount of thrust, which in total should equal the weight of the drone. Thus, an equilibrium will be maintained and the drone will hover. Yeah, make it turn left or right. The quad quarter applies more thrust in one set of motors such that if the quad quarter has to rotate towards right, that is clockwise, the motors spinning anti-clockwise will rotate faster than the motors spinning clockwise. Pitch. This is used to move the drone in the forward or the backward direction. To pitch forward, the motors at the back generate more thrust compared to the motors in the front. This causes the drone to move in the forward direction. Similarly, to move the drone in the backward direction, the motors in the front have to rotate faster. Roll. This is used to move the drone from left to right. So if the drone has to move towards the right, the motors on the left will start producing more thrust so that it starts moving towards the right and vice versa. One thing that makes quadcopters easy to fly is that you don't have to actually adjust the motor speeds manually as this will be done by the flight controller and the electronics. We will discuss about the flight controller and electronics in coming videos but before that we have to talk about the structure because without that 
we will not be able to mount anything. So that will be episode number 2 in which we will give you a 3D model that you can 3D print and follow with us. If you like this series then please click on the like button and do share it with your friends. Also check out the playlist for the entire series. We have all the resources and instructions in the video description and making such videos take a lot of effort so please do consider checking out the Patreon page. Hope to see you in the next video. Until next time, happy learning.